Hi, this is Divya Pandit. So, I am starting June 2019 Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what is in store for Aquarians at work. So, let's see. Aquarians, what happened? June is a little slow month for Aquarians. Because I feel Aquarians are not in a frame of mind to do any kind of work right now. They have lost themselves somewhere and uh, feeling a little, they've had a little tower moment in their life. You know what's a tower moment? When you feel you are actually so hurt and done with everything and you just don't want to listen to anyone. So I will do what I want to and I will just rush and move ahead the way I want to. Somewhere at work you've had a tower moment and this is because of a female. That's what I see and that block is really really hurting you. That issue is hurting you and that is the reason why you are not right now concentrating at work. For you uh, Aquarians, there is a, see people see you again I will say as a very soft emotional person and you feel somewhere that you are being used emotionally and in your workplace and that is why you just want to leave everything and go. What I see is that in the near future there is going to be manifestation of what you want. That is in June there is going to be a time where you will actually know that what you are thinking is not right. I should just be a little softer but let me remove another card and just check. You have to be a little what I will say Aquarians you have to be a little bit of manipulating. Because Aquarians tend to be too upfront and, and you know very very clear hearted people. I am not saying that's a block. But because of that the one who gets hurt is you yourself. So if you are able to handle the situation like you have to be like a magician. Where you know how to use each and everything that is in front of you. Right now you are not in a frame of mind to move forward even at work. Because I see right now work is totally blocked. And you are not able to walk for ahead because of all these issues in your life, in your work. I will say even in your personal life. But I see good things coming away because last card that has shown up is 10 of pentacles. And 10 of pentacles is a card of complete happiness. It's not just happiness at work but it's also happiness at home. So right now work is not moving forward is because you've had a tower moment and where you want to just leave everything and go mentally you are just fed up of a lot of things and you just don't want to acknowledge anything. So June is going to be a month where you are going to have a tower moment. So you have to keep calm and you have to just gather your energies and know how to use each and everything that is around you and against you. Sometimes people that who are against us also give you a learning experience right and what I feel is when I have a Tama moment in my life what I do is I use I try to change the energy into positive now you will tell me how to do that well every situation has something to give you so just see what is it giving you and then use that energy to move forward I hope I'm clear and I'm explained myself. So this is something that you have to do at work. So do not worry. It might be a little rough month for Aquarians in June. But you should know. Rather you will know. You all are smart people. You all will know how to use that energy to your advantage. Right. So this is work reading for Aquarians. Now let me see uh, what relationship says. Oops, this is popping up. Okay, this is a card that jumped out, so I will use it. And again, like I said, in your workspace, same thing is showing up in your, um, you know, uh, relationship space. I feel you have to go and seek the truth means you have to go and just put the curtain down and see what the truth is what exactly is the situation right now you're not very clear in your relationship also 
So you need to really believe that after knowing the truth, your awareness is going to open and in your relationship, you are going to have clarity of belief and here you have going to have a new beginning, right? I see new beginning here, it is a lot of clarity and also I consider this card, this is my reading as ego. Sword is always ego. So somewhere you need to let go of your ego, let go of your confusion, let go of all the sadness that you have because of the relationship you have or even if some Aquarians who don't have a relationship might uh, be blocking their relationship because of these emotions like ego, sadness, you know. So something that you have to rebuild, relationship you have to rebuild Aquarians because this is something you have lost hope on. You feel that nothing can happen, let it be, I am not working on it. No, that is not what you are going to do in June because that is the exact feelings are going to come to you in June. So you have to work on your feelings, you have to rebuild your feelings. Only then I feel that, you know, this last card that it showed up, this is going to happen. So this is also a new beginning card, something new with clarity and all the baggage gone. So this will only happen if you work on your feelings. So that's all for Aquarians and now I'll remove a cute little magical fairy cards for everyone. June 2019 Aquarians and here I go. Ask for what you want, manifest, law of attraction. Let the universe and other people know what you need. So you have to speak out what you want. Whatever you want, you have to speak out. And you have to give other person clarity. And you have to also acknowledge in your mind what you are seeking for. This is a beautiful message for Aquarians. Exactly what I did the reading. That you have to ask and you shall receive. So start believing in what you want in life. Don't feel that everything is done and dusted, nothing is going to happen, everything is going to happen. Maybe uh, this is a very tough month for you relationship wise, work wise, but this is going to teach you something and you have to believe that things will change. What I feel intuitively Aquarians, I feel the third week of uh, June, you are going to start getting into the positive frame of mind and you will start moving forward and decide actually what you want. So that's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel or I won't upload videos. I will not talk to anybody who doesn't subscribe to my channel. And then please message me on Facebook page White Light Healing Center and also like my page because I, uh, I actually upload a lot of information even there a little different than what I put on YouTube. I put it over there. And for personal paid appointments only email me at White Light Healing Center at gmail.com center with the ER. That's all for today. Goodbye. God bless.